welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Hannah and today's video, as you can see from the title, is me reviewing and testing the new Oda Beauty Nymph Not Your Mama's Pantyhose All Body all over body I should say highlighter so if you want to see what my thoughts are and how I work these and how I put them on my body and my face then please stay tuned so I did today receive the package of the new nymph not your mama's pantyhose all over body highlighters this is what they look like they are absolutely absolutely stunning I love these um these are huge like they're really really big when these first came out I thought they were going to be in glass packaging but they're not, they're plastic, so it's a lot safer for you guys. This comes with 55 millilitres of product. I don't know how much these are going to retail for, but I know the foundation has 32 millilitres or 35 millilitres, so I don't know if it's going to be around the £36 range. Not too sure. They come in three colours, as you guys probably know. If you haven't, please check out Huda Beauty's um, Instagram page or their website. They'll have information on this. I just... Pardon me. I just received the PR package, which looks like this. I love the PR package. I'm just going to be applying this onto my face, um, showing you how it works for me, seeing if it works for me, and all of that jazz. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, we have the shades here, which is Luna, which is the lightest shade right here. We have the shade Aphrodite, which I'm probably going to go in with. And then we have the shade... Aurora, which I'm going to try and use to bronze. I don't know if this is going to be a good bronzer. I was hoping it had more of like a... a, a coolerish coolish warm tone i don't know if that's possible just so it's a little bit easier to actually use as a bronzer it might work it might not um so yeah i am gonna should i swatch these for you guys i'm gonna give you guys a little swatch other three shades swatch for you so this is the shade aurora this is the shade aphrodite and then this is the shade luna i actually really like the three of them they do have similar consistencies with the price to be the same thing but this one i found was a little bit more liquidy i know it's supposed to have like 30 percent pearl in there which is really really nice and the sheen these are just gorgeous oh my goodness for all over the face i'm actually going to use the shade aphrodite or aphrodite because i think this is going to look really really lovely oh it also comes with it also comes with a body blur and glow brush, which I actually really like. It look, feels really luxury, luxurious. It's really dense and it's just so soft. Like I could literally just have this on my face all day. So yeah, we're gonna be using that today. And um, on the box it does says, ditch your pantyhose and make room for nymph and all over face and body illuminator decide, designed to give you radiant looking skin that grows. Available in three high shine shades. The bronze shimmer finish promises to give the most flawless summer legs that feel smooth and hydrated without streaks or harsh lines. The water-based formula melts seamlessly into the skin to blur imperfections, leaving you nothing but flawless sun-touched shimmer that is both water and transfer resistant. So it says directions for best use, for best results. Use a Huda Beauty blur and a glow blush to, bruff, to buff the highlighter onto your face, legs, arms, shoulders and collarbone for a natural looking glow. Then blend quickly as you spread the formula across the skin until the desired coverage is achieved. Apply two to three pumps to cover a large area or one to two pumps for a subtle glow. Pro tip, mix with your favourite foundation for coverage that glows. Two pumps onto the brush and literally all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to blend this into the skin. So it's all blended in, well, as much as I could. Obviously, I've not got foundation on. I really do like it. I have found that I actually think I prefer um, it using without a brush. I just think a brush is a little bit difficult. Like, if it was a little bit more of a stippling brush, I think it might be nice. But I think oh, this gives me a nice massage, though. Like, if you really wanted to, like, lift your skin, we would do that. But I do find it's a little bit hard. So I think if you was going to purchase this, I probably wouldn't purchase it but i do like it though do you know what i mean i'm not saying that i don't like it i just probably think this would probably go better with a um um uh, stippling brush now aphrodite was the middle shade i think if you are a bit fairer than me so a bit fairer than an nz25 go for luna because it's the lightest shade this will probably just be on the verge of being a little bit dark for me but once you put your foundation on obviously i think it should match but I just love that whole glow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back. I'm going to do the rest of my face. I'm going to come back, do my highlighter with these. And then I'm going to do a body glow. And then I will give you my final thoughts. Okay, so what I've done is I've, I've done my base off of camera. Um, I am going to go now in with the shade Aurora. And I'm going to try and see if I can actually blend this. Um, and use this as like a little bronzer. If it doesn't work, of course, I haven't set. So we can actually go back in and see if it works. So I'm just going to go in and start to blend. Thank you. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Luna, which is the lightest shade. And I just want to... Oh, how am I going to... Teeniest, tiny amount. Literally just that. Not even too much. I've added Luna onto my points. I will say the bronzer I had, you literally need the teeniest, tiniest amount because I actually found that I was struggling to blend it. So I had to go from a brush to a sponge, from a brush to a sponge. And it, I'm telling you now, my best advice would be don't put it all over your face like I did. Literally just do one dot, blend it, one dot, blend it. Because for some reason you put a little bit on, it dries down straight away. Like honestly, it's not, there's no funny business here people. It literally, you put it on, you blend it and it's like, it's blended. So yeah. So what I am going to do now is do the rest of my face, come back to you guys and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I've applied some to my body as well. I love how this looks. This looks fab. This makes, I've got the boniest shoulders in the world. If I move my camera back to you guys. I have the boniest shoulders in the world. So I do apologize. Yeah, I'm very bony, but yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. I am so, so, so in love. Everything about this is just bomb. Like the highlight, the everything, the body, the glow. I love this. This is perfect for summer. Now, I personally think this is, I prefer this product as a little bit of a highlighter and a body glow. I, for the face, not so much. So I think it'd be better on the body, like the legs, the arms, the collarbone for summer. Like if you go out in a nice dress or if you go out in a nice pair of shorts or something like that, it'd be lovely like that or to put it on your hands just to glow you up. But I personally think on your face, not so much. Not that I would say don't, but I'm just saying it's probably, if you want something more for the body, then it, yes, definitely go for it. Um, I haven't tried the Fenty one. I haven't tried many others. But yeah, I think the consistency is just is too pearly for it to be too much on the face. Like, it does look gorgeous, don't get me wrong. I think as a highlighter, this is absolutely stunning. Like, they came out of Luna and Aphrodite and uh aurora in highlighter compacts that everyone would be absolutely loving them but yeah i think overall i really really love them i think they are definitely a good purchase and a good product to grab but um yeah i just personally think i prefer them on the body so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a massive thumbs up if you have any questions about the products please feel free to just comment in the comment section i'll be happy to reply to you guys um also i just want to quickly say like I said previously before, if you're going to be using them, you need to use them in really small amounts and build. Because if you go in and use loads at one point, it's going to dry down really, really quickly. I found that especially as well in the body. You use a drop, blend it, drop, blend it. Don't put loads on expecting it to be like, okay, cool. I can wait a few seconds and blend. No, it literally dries down as soon as you put it down. So as soon as it comes out of the bottle onto the sponge or um, onto your skin, it will dry down straight away so you're going to need to make sure you're blending it as quick as possible so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a massive thumbs up for me i'd absolutely appreciate that also if you are new here i'd love if you could subscribe and click the notification bell and follow my instagram which is at handset loose it'll be in the description i will tag the product when it's available i'm not too sure when it's available it should be available sometime in may so yeah stay tuned for that um so yeah i love all of you i hope you guys take care and i shall see you in my next video bye